welcome to the Junior High Spring Chorus and Band Concert featuring our jazz band, our concert band, and our choir. These are directed by Mrs. Christina Schoonmaker, Mr. Tom Barton, and Ms. Margo Marusic. These children have, I call them children, sorry, they're your children, but they're mine too, I love them all. These guys have practiced, 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 practiced. I think you're gonna enjoy this evening. They are beautiful musicians inside and out, so please sit back, relax. It's nice and cool in here. Turn your cell phones off. Don't use any flash photography because then that will make them sing, sing wrong or something. And enjoy. These are your kids. These are our kids. We love them. Thank you for sharing them with us every single day. So great round of applause right now for our junior high jazz band. Take it away, guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight. This is our jazz band. We rehearse just once a week after school for not even an hour. Um, so these kids do a lot of the work on their own. It's like an honors group. And then we just try to fit it all together when they come in. So thank you all for your dedication this year, for being a part of it. If you're not in jazz band this year and you're in seventh grade, please join us next year. We'd love to have you. If you're headed to the high school, Mrs. Warden would love to have you there too. Um, for the first time, maybe ever, our junior high jazz band is uh, taking our show on the road. We're going to the High Note Music Festival uh, next week, and this is the first time since I've been here that the band has performed outside of the school. We're going to be evaluated by two uh, music educators, two judges, that'll give us comments and suggestions for improvement, and I'm really excited to be in a place where we feel like, okay, we're ready. And even though we only do this thing once a week, we're gonna put ourselves out there and do that. So I'm very excited for them. Please wish us luck, and um, Let's see, we had Ethan Cruz, Isabella Velasquez on the first tune, and this next one will feature Grace on the flute, Sofiana on the trumpet, Megan on the tenor sax, and our whole jazz band is glued together by Vincent Abaduto on the drum set. Thank you all so much.
without our support of the fantastic faculty, administration, support staff tonight. Um, thank you. Can you hear me? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming out tonight. I want to let you know, without the support of our faculty, families, administration, support staff, um, all of you, our students, concerts like this wouldn't be possible, and we're so thankful that you came out tonight. Um, thank you for encouraging your students, for encouraging them to practice and to come and continue and stick with the program. Music has an amazing impact for the individual and for our community, and just so thankful um, for this group. Our next piece, I'm going to ask Mr. Barton to come on up, is called Dreams of Thee. We're doing a little switch room. It's nice. I've never had the opportunity to co-teach until last year. So this has been really nice working with Mrs. Mercy. Mrs. Gillette, thank you for turning pages. As you do so much around here. We really appreciate you. I just want to recognize a couple of kids who did, who participated in NISMA Solo Festival. So it's, these kids went to Solo Festival and they sang a, their solo that was prepared for a judge. There's certain levels they get adjudicated on their tone, their technique, their intonation, all sorts of things. Um, I just want to recognize the kids that did that extra thing. So just raise your hands and wave to everybody. Isabel DeJesu, De Sofiana Jacobs, Noemi Mandeville, Elna Pagan, Roxanne Ross, Shea Stewart, Liam Turner, Destiny Wilkie, and Megan Wright. Raise your hands, wave to everybody. Did I miss anybody? I didn't miss anybody, right? Okay. Uh, I also want to recognize the kids that went to All County Chorus. So they went, again, something that they did that was extra, that was a really good experience. I hope that you had, you know, um, where they get together with, you know, the best kids from all other districts that get recommended by their teachers to join in kind of like a super group. And it's like a weekend that you take and you rehearse and then you get to present a show and it's usually really good. Those people, raise your hands. Vincent Abadudo, Emma Beckley, Noemi, Noemi Mandeville, Elna Pagan, Destiny Wilkie, and Megan Wright. So I think I speak for both of us when I say we're really proud of these kids and their progress. It's a joy to watch them work hard and to achieve things. When, we, when they're really focused, uh, you would all agree, right? When you're really focused, you do really good work. Um, so it's been a joy to watch them grow throughout this year. So thanks for supporting me and letting, me, letting us borrow your kids for second period every other day. So thank you. Here's our next piece called Dreams of Thee. And I would be remiss if I forgot to introduce our guest soloist. This is Yadiel Roman Martinez, who will be... Yara is going to be joining us for a uh, flute feature, so thank you.
session. Please welcome our seventh and eighth grade concert band. Thank you so much. That first piece was Blue Sky Horizon. It's meant to be an uplifting, joyous piece, a celebration um, of one of those days where you feel really good and everything's going well. Um, I would like to acknowledge our students that made the all-county band. Um, I failed to do that at our, our band concert, and they went that following weekend, I believe. Um, and our students are at a disadvantage compared to the rest of the county. We start later. Um, in the county, so it's harder for our students, and at this age level, they're competing against 7th, 8th, and 9th graders. Um, so it's a tough thing to make the All County Band out of our band, but we had two students do that. We had Sofiana Jacobs on the trumpet, and we had Matthew Henry on the French horn. And not only did Matthew make it, but he was first chair in the county for 7th through 9th as a 7th grader. So congratulations to both of those students. You can see in your program we had a large number of students attend the Nisma Solo Festival. Um, Mr. Barton spoke about that. Students prepare a solo work. This is all done on their time. Um, it's something they elect to, to do. And it takes a lot of work and dedication to be prepared to go to the Nisma Solo Festival and, 
a lot of courage to play in front of a stranger and, and put yourself out there to get that feedback. Um, if you attended the Nisma Solo Festival, please stand up now. Nisma Solo Fest. You can see this many students took advantage of that opportunity. We're very proud of them. Um, speaking of being evaluated, the whole band is also attending uh, the High Note Music Festival next Friday, which is like three school days away. It's crazy to think about it that way. Um, and so we're going to arrive here nice and early at 5.40 a.m. Parents, thank you in advance. Um, and we are leaving promptly, so please have your child here at 5.40 that morning. We're traveling to Allentown, Pennsylvania, and we will perform first for a panel of adjudicators who will give us feedback on what we do well and what we can improve upon for the future. And um, then we will spend a fun afternoon at, at Dorney Park after. So thank you in advance for all of your help with that. Um, so we've, we've done a lot this year. <laughs> Congratulations to everybody on everything. And I can't wait to do the trip next Friday. And let's keep that momentum going. I've got summer rental forms available in my uh, room. It's free to rent your instrument for the summer here, thanks to the Ellenville Central School District. And a huge thank you to our Ellenville Warsing Alumni Association who have purchased almost all of the instruments you see on stage and for our entire program. So a huge thank you to all of the members of the association and anyone who's donated um, to our instrument fund. You have literally kept band in the Ellenville Central School District. Thank you so much. There is a summer band. If you're wondering why I get my instrument for the summer, there's a summer band Mrs. Warden is running. We would love to have our students participate, you parents that used to play. Uh, Mrs. Warden started naming names last night. I won't put anybody on the spot. But we would love to have you. Please come and join us. And um, while I'm up here, I also want to thank Tom Barton, Madison Van Wagen, Marva Marusik, and of course, Linda Gillette for being here tonight. Our high school band teacher, Lori Warden, for working with our seventh and eighth grade clarinets and our trumpets and just being a huge help to our program all of the time. Our next piece is Asian Sunrise. We like to think of it as a very calm, peaceful piece. And you can close your eyes and just imagine yourself on the beach, maybe. The waves are rolling in and just a beautiful moment.
like to take a moment and acknowledge our eighth graders. I thought I was done teaching beginner band, but um, this particular class had a delayed start to band because of COVID, and I got to start them in their instruments in sixth grade. Some of them had a lesson for a hot second outside, and then we ran to the Big Apple Crunch after, and it was just madness all the time. These poor kids had to start in an instrument mask where I couldn't see their face. You've heard this all before. I have to say it again because it's incredible that any of them stuck with it. They had bell covers on their instruments. I mean, what a horrible way to start. Um, they couldn't even see my face to demonstrate. Sometimes I would step back outside the door and take my mask off and say, do this, and, and then put my mask back on and run back in the room. It was just mad times. Um, so somehow they persevered. And to say that they're a special group is an understatement. You know they're busy. They play sports, they participate in clubs, and they've all continued to make time for music. They've been leaders in our band, but more importantly, a true joy to work with. They're the type of people that open the band room door to say hi as they go by, send me well wishes on Mother's Day, check on me all semester because they know I wasn't feeling well. They're compassionate, kind, and kind of hilarious. We've had a great time together these past three years, and I wish you all the best as you move on to high school. I hope you look back on your time in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade uh, and know how special it is that we had this amazing opportunity to make music together. And I hope that music will always be a part of your life in some way. And I'm going to miss you guys so much. Thank you all. coming to see us. Um, we just want to say thank you to Schoon. Schoon, we've had you for three years in this band and we will really miss you. She has always taught us to believe in ourselves and I know she's always believed in us. <laughs> <This will be. laughs> 
We can always count on Scoom to be there for us. She has always been there for when things have gotten difficult. And it is so sad to say that she will not be our teacher next year. <laughs> we love you, Scoom. We love you, Miss Schoolmaker. We'll visit you every day next year, promise. Thank you for all you did for us, Scoon. We love you, Miss Schoolmaker. <laughs> Have a very nice evening, everyone. Thank you for coming.